nine this season, four and seven NCAC play. Uh, Ohio Wesleyan came in, 12 and six, nine and two, or excuse me, eight and two in NCAC play. Wabash came off with a slow start, as you see Colton Garland being blocked by Ben Simpson there. Ohio Wesleyan shot lights out, a uh, whopping 44% from the three-point line, but Wabash answered back a couple of times. Ben Stokowski with a three there. Logan White with a layup there, but it was tough to stop Ohio Wesleyan as Gossard, you see there, going right past Harlan and with the layup. And then again with Axelrod, another three from Ben Simpson. The threes were raining all night long for Ohio Wesleyan. Story of the night for them. Ben Stokowski, story of the night for Wabash, off the bench, 14 points and he hit a total of three threes. Garland was stripped a couple times. Turnovers were pl uh, plagued Wabash throughout the first half. They went into the half down 46-29. Coach Bremont not happy with this team's defensive performance. In the second half, Wabash started to settle down a little bit. Um, there's another three there in the first half, answered by Duncan Roy. Turnovers, like I said, were not a good thing for Wabash. Led to second chance points for Ohio Wesleyan, along with their three-pointers that they were reining in. It was tough for Wabash to contend. Here in the second half, Wabash went on a, on a great run, outscoring Ohio Wesleyan 36 to 27 in the second half. Brought to within six, but it was just too much for Wabash to endure. Colton Garland finally got hot, start over for eight in the first half, and he finished the game with 14 excuse me, 12 points. As you see, C.J. McMahon hitting a three there during Wabash's comeback in the second half. Dalton Vachon, a career high seven points off, off the bench. And this leads into, but this could not be enough for Wabash College as they go down 73-65 to Ohio Wesleyan. They will travel to, or they will stay here for Kenyon this weekend. <laughs> 